click on the graph to draw an isosceles trapezoid with vertices at negative 2 comma 8 and negative 4 comma negative 1, another vertex at 3 comma 8, and a base 9 units long that is parallel to the x-axis. All right, let's see if we can if we can do this. So we could just start plotting these vertices. So negative two comma eight, x is negative two, y is eight. That's that point right over there. Then the next one is x is negative four, y is negative one. X is negative four, y is negative one, and that's nice. They connect the dots for us. And then they say three comma eight. So three comma eight is going to be right up here. Now I think when I click it, it's going to try to draw a line between this point and this point, which isn't what we ha what we want. If this is a trapezoid, an isosceles trapezoid, I would actually want to connect 3 comma 8 to this point right over here, to negative 2 comma 8. So let me just see what happens. Yep, yeah, it did, that's not what I wanted to happen. So let me actually delete these. Let me delete here. I'm actually going to plot this one first, then I'm going to plot this one, then I'm going to plot this one, and then I'm going to see where I need to put this other one. So let me delete all of these, move these all to the trash. So move them all to the trash. And so let me start over. So I am going to start, this looks like some type of a bug, but let's see, let's hopefully it still works. Let's plot three comma eight first. Three comma eight, that's that point. Then we're gonna plot negative two comma eight. Negative two comma eight, this is the top of our, of our, of our isosceles trapezoid, and it's nice, they give us the length, it has, the length of this top is five. And then now we can do negative four comma negative one. Negative four comma negative one is this point right over here. All right, now this is looking like a trapezoid. And now a base nine units long that is parallel to the x-axis. So base that's nine units long and it's parallel to the x-axis. So we just have to move to the right nine units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units. And then we just move back up. And it does look like we have got ourselves an isosceles trapezoid. What does an isosceles trapezoid mean? It means that these two sides, the, the non-top or non-bottom or non-base sides, are going to be equal. And we see that this side over here is equal to that. And that this top is, you can kind of view it as in the middle, is one way to think about it. So I like this isosceles, tra this isosceles trapezoid. So let's check our answer, make sure that we've drawn it right. Yeah, we did, we did good.